Now, your WLKY weather with meteorologist Daniel Johnson. Here is a beautiful live look outside in Louisville. It's a cold night, temperatures hovering near freezing downtown, but our outlying suburbs getting even colder already in the 20s, and all of us will be dropping down into the 20s later on, probably past midnight here in downtown. 31 right now, dew point 11, so a very dry air mass here. The wind is calm, and our temperatures will be dropping pretty quickly here over the next several hours. Today, it was a cold to chilly day. We got to 40 degrees, but it felt colder because we did have a bit of a breeze out there, and we're gonna keep that breeze with us for Sunday, but it's going to be a milder breeze. Just wait until I show you those temperatures for the second half of the weekend. Right now, though, bundle up. It's cold if you're heading out. Shepherdsville, 26 right now. Cordon, 23. Salem, 26. Springfield sitting at 25 degrees. But as we zoom out, it's even colder as you head into Indianapolis. Well, only 19. Fort Wayne, Indiana, 15. So we have a lot of cold air across the Ohio Valley, and that's going to go away starting tomorrow. Right now, the winds are calm, but they're starting to shift as high pressure begins to move east. So our winds are going to shift more out of the south as we head through tonight. And those winds will be a little bit gusty for your Sunday, Monday, and even Tuesday. Latest wind gusts, at least the forecast, will be a southwest wind for your Sunday afternoon. That will warm us up, but winds will be gusting between 20 and 30 miles per hour. And we keep those winds gusting between 20 and 30 into your Monday and even into your Tuesday. So hold on to your hats the next few days as the winds really begin to whip up. Now, why are those winds strengthening? Well, we're looking ahead to this week here and notice all of these lines here as they get closer and you can see all the green and the yellow showing up. That is upper level wind speeds. This is the jet stream and the winds aloft very strong here. And this jet stream is gonna pretty much park itself on top of our area as we head through this upcoming week. And that's gonna bring us impact weather days here as low pressures take a ride along this jet stream, several low pressures throughout the week. And that will bring us precipitation chances. And some of it could be wintry precipitation by the end of the week, Thursday and Friday. We're still watching that potential. But right now, Tuesday looks uh, pretty much like a washout or at least very close to it. And Thursday looking likely in terms of precipitation. Right now, though, things are quiet, high pressure and control. As it begins drifting east, our winds will continue to shift more out of the south and southwest, helping to warm us up. But tonight, it's cold, 23 with clear skies. And then tomorrow, yeah, we're getting to 60 degrees, lots of sunshine, but it will be breezy, that south wind between 10 and 15 and a little bit gusty, upwards of 20 or 25. But look at all that sunshine for the second half of the weekend. Get out and enjoy it. Monday is still looking good for outdoor activities. We start with sunshine, then we cloud up through the day. Showers arrive by Monday night, and that rain turns heavy by Tuesday. And we have to watch for the chance for some minor flooding in some areas uh, by Tuesday, as some of that rain will be heavy. Don't forget, it's President's Day on Monday. Hopefully a lot of you have the day off because it's gonna be a great day to head out. Still in the 60s by Tuesday, but just a rainy day. Cloudy and cold on Wednesday, or at least colder, 42. And then as it gets colder by Thursday, Friday, more precipitation moves in. Could be a wintry mix. Right now it looks to be mainly rain, but some indications show it could be sleet and freezing rain, which of course we don't want. So winter's not over. We have a lot to watch here over the next seven days. Most important thing, that President's Day, a lot of people have it off. Looks like yeah. the best day out of the seven. Happy about that? All right, Daniel, thanks. Yeah.